Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Creator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Salesforce for Beginner series. In this video, we are going to discuss what is CRM, what is cloud computing, what is Salesforce, then uh, what architecture does Salesforce use, and some of the products and services offered by Salesforce. Before diving into Salesforce directly, we need to understand two important terms. First, what is CRM? CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It is nothing but a combination of software, processes, and some strategies to enhance and maintain relationship between companies and the clients. For example, consider I have a shoe selling company. So definitely, for my company to progress, I need to know how my sales are doing, right? I need to have insights about my sales to check like which of the product is mostly liked by the customers. Then I need to do some marketing strategies to make my product reach to my consumers. Then again, let's say some customer uh, needs to write reviews or need to complain or need some support from our company, right? So we need to have system in place for that again. So that's where various CRM tools softwares or platforms like Salesforce comes to rescue. Okay. Next is what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is nothing but using of remote servers to store, manage, process the data rather than on personal computers or local servers. So we don't have to worry about storage, security and all those stuff, right? So those servers will take care of that. We just have to focus on developing our applications. What is Salesforce now? So Salesforce is customer relationship management solution or we can say a platform that brings together companies and customer leveraging the cloud computing. Salesforce provides software as a service. So you don't have to download, set up or install anything on your machine or local server. Most of the applications are hosted on cloud and we can directly use them. Salesforce also provides platform as a service where you can develop and run and build your applications. No separate platform is required for you to proceed. Salesforce architecture. In Salesforce, one server instance is shared by multiple clients. So if there is need for an update, provider updates one application and all the changes are reflected to all the users. There is a single database which is used by all the users and uh, the data of all the users are stored in it. Next important uh, thing is Salesforce uses metadata driven development model. What that means is, let's say we have a one application here and this application is being used by multiple tenants, that means us. Now each instance of that application have data specific to us, that is tenant. Then we have a metadata specific to all and then we have a data itself. So what it does is it improves the productivity as developers just focus on building their own applications. Also. Using this metadata driven model, it ensures complete security for users data. These are some of the products and services offered by Salesforce. Each one of them have their own applications and they can be used standalone or in combination with each other to achieve our goals. Okay, that's a basic introduction for Salesforce. Do let me know in comments if you have any doubts and also do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.